So for those of you who don't know, ArenaNet issued a wave of Guild Wars 2 account suspensions about a week ago, mid-April 2018, April 12th. The reason for the ban was laid out in a forum post by Gail Gray, which stated that 1,583 accounts were suspended. Later, they elaborated that the reason they suspended these accounts was that they detected that the accounts were running Guild Wars 2 at the same time as one or more of the following programs over a significant number of hours during a multi-week period earlier this year. One of these programs here is Cheat Engine. Now, there's a fair amount of finger pointing being done by the Guild Wars 2 community against the numerous people trying to cry out that they did not use Cheat Engine on Guild Wars 2, not even read the memory. They claim that they had left the program open from earlier gameplay on a completely separate game. And the response that I've seen most commonly to this defense is, you know, uh-huh, sure you did, liar, liar, pants on fire, kind of thing, you know. So I'm going to give these skeptical people the benefit of the doubt. You know, perhaps they don't know what Cheat Engine is, how it's used, and what it's for. So on the Cheat Engine website, there's this handy FAQ. It says, what is it? Cheat Engine is a tool that helps you figure out how a game or application works and make modifications to it. It comes with extensive scripting support, so you can basically create anything you like. Check the About page for more. Does Will Cheat Engine work on online games most of the time? No. So that's interesting. Here we see the developer of Cheat Engine saying, this probably won't even work on online games. This is supposed to be entirely a client side thing. Another notable thing is down here we have, where is it? Will the next version of Cheat Engine be undetected for current anti-cheat systems? Most likely not. Cheat Engine isn't trying to hide itself. It's meant for a user to tamper with their own software, their own single player games. It is not meant for online games at all. And to top it all off, Cheat Engine is open source. So those of you who are software minded like myself, you can have a fun time rooting around in the code that makes all this work, right? There's a lot of stuff here. I'm not gonna go through it. So that's all well and good. So let's see an example of how Cheat Engine works. I'm going to load up Stardew Valley. I've got my save games here. I'm going to wake up day four of winter or whatever. It's been a while since I played this. Um, I'm going to walk outside. It's winter. All my crops are dead, you know. But I'm going to illustrate what you can do with Cheat Engine, okay? So for this, we're gonna need to go to the store, but you know what? Looking at this, look how slow we're walking. Let's say I wanna play this game at a little bit of a faster pace. Let's open Cheat Engine. So I have Cheat Engine open right here. First, I can select the process that I wanna, that I wanna change, that I wanna modify, that I wanna cheat on. Stardew Valley, okay? Let's enable the speed hack and make ourselves go twice as fast. Voila. We're going twice as fast. Everything we do is twice as fast. Oh, I got a buck. Neat. Um, but also note the game's clock is also going twice as fast. So this is all like, you know, everything in the game is moving twice as fast. The only thing that changes is I'm spending less time playing the game. So, let's go in the shop. Oh, it's closed. So, handy dandy, speed hack. Let's go even faster. Ten times faster. Did I hit the right button? Boom. There, ten times faster. Oh, dear. Okay. Slow it back down. Ah, didn't mean to hit that. And now we'll go into the shop, okay. So now another thing you can do is change individual values in the game. So you see this, this amount of money that I have, seven, six, three, eight, four. 
let's change that number. So what we can do is we can search for any type of value, 76384, search a little bit, and then voila, hey, look at that. Oh, that wasn't the right one. Let's try a different one. There we go. Oop, I've changed my, oh dear. That wasn't the right one either. I think it's this one. There we go. Yeah, so that, that one, you sometimes have to play around with it to find, like, find the right number. But anyway, so here's the right value. Now I can change this even further. Maybe I want to have 10 million or whatever the number that was. I have so much money, oh my god. So now I can just buy whatever I want. You know, this is for me to screw around in single player games to my heart's content. Now, let's say from here, I want to play Stardew Valley for eight hours or whatever because it eats your life and it's a great game and you should play it, but dedicate a weekend to it because you're going to be spending a lot of time on it. Okay, so I'm playing, 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 and then, oh snap, you know, um, uh, eight o'clock has rolled around and it's time for World vs. World. We're trying to beat Blackgate. I got to get online. So I close this, I open up Guild Wars, and oh look, my account's been suspended for modifying or tampering with the game because I didn't close Cheat Engine. That is the sole issue here. That is why I was banned from Guild Wars. And if you look at one of my Steam reviews that I left on a game that I really enjoyed, called Sundered. I took a break, I picked up Sundered, I wanted to play through a Metroidvania, I saw that I owned it, picked it up, but I very quickly got annoyed by the progression system. And I did exactly what you saw I, me do in Starbound with the money hack to what is essentially my experience in Sundered. And I bypassed the grindy progression. I'll leave a link to this recommendation in the um, description. And you can look at other reviews for Sundered. Many other users have also complained about the progression in this game. And is a big reason why this game has not gotten a lot of love overall. But um, I really enjoyed it. And I stand by my statement that this game feels better when you break the rules a little bit and don't have to spend 40 hours getting to a high enough level to a point where it's numerically possible for you to win, right? But because I played Sundered and didn't close Cheat Engine, I am now banned from Guild Wars 2 for six months. And worst of all is that the accounts in question will remain suspended for at least six months. And in the case of this investigation, ArenaNet will not be accepting appeals about these account suspensions. And I ask you, in what world is that fair?